thinking. Title Tuesday. With Magnus Carlsen. Hikaru Nakamura. Wesley So. Andreikin. Duda. Wow. Hoping I am 26 in rank. Hoping for a match between Magnus and Naka. Also, where is Vladimir Kramnik? Last title Tuesday we had uh, Vladimir Kramnik grace the tournament with his presence. Come on, Vladimir. Today is your chance to beat Magnus. You can come. A lot of youngsters, yeah. All of these youngsters. Pretty much, I'm older than all these guys. Like, the only person who is not older than me Probably Demchenka. But everybody else is like young. Young Bucks. Okay, maybe, maybe but, but Bakro? What, what is Bakro's? Uh, he is. Yeah, he is younger. I mean, he's like 10, almost 10 years young. He's 9 years younger, yeah. I was like, man. Okay, Rostamov probably is older than He is 73. Okay, he is one year older than me. But okay, one year is not a big difference. Yeah. Then Grandmaster Nations. I'm curious who are the women who will be playing today. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, to encourage her to play in Entitled Tuesday event, but uh, yeah, she has a lot of stuff. Exams, Exams housework, and uh, you know, she's doing also some arts, so... Uh, okay. My god, this is gonna be serious tournaments. Look at this. 362 players among them, grandmasters like everywhere. The word of Magnus Carlsen joining the tournament encouraged everybody to join the events. Look at this. 100th place is a grandmaster. We have a lot of national masters, see the masters. Actually, we have, you yeah, know, have a bunch of feeder masters, a lot of women grandmasters. There is grandmaster at 167th rank. All right. Hello, guys. Yes, hello back. Hello, Mr. Roberts, FRKH. So Magnus is playing, Wesley playing, Naka is playing. We're missing Vladimir Kramnik from last week. But Adreza Firuza joins and Fabiana Kurana also joins. They join because they 
the scene Magnus play. So we're gonna watch game Firuja versus Carlson or Fabiano versus Carlson. Monaco versus Carlson. Yeah, it's gonna be serious competition here today. And we have Dubov, rank number 13. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it, right? Dubov is 13. Perfect number. Loved by Kasparov and everybody else. Then we have Serrano 17th. And then Lazar 16th in the new Belarusian sensation, yeah. Another dude in the making. All right, we got one minute and 20 seconds. Uh. So I highly encourage you to follow the games of these monsters, okay? Because I will not be talking much today. I'll be trying to focus on the game and hopefully not get flagged and hopefully play some good games. That's the goal. If we're gonna lose, it's fine. If we're gonna get flagged, it's fine. Hopefully we're not gonna run into any super FMs. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot because I went to Bundesliga this weekend. So I've been playing a lot on the train for, for my alt account. And uh, hello, Mr. Vlad Kirem. And I have to tell you that, you know, because I was fighting for the promotion to Champions uh, Legend League. My God, there were so many cheaters, man. Thank you for subscribing, Mr. Robert. Um, hello, Mr. Dillman. Dillman, do you see Carlson, Fabiano, Firuza is playing today? Yeah. Massive tournament. And Dubuf, of course. Yeah, so I was playing on my alt account and I got, I, I reported a lot of people and I got a lot of, uh, you know, and I got notification that a lot of players were not doing, were not playing by the rules, okay. I played the system as black, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not that great either. Sure, if I'm on the end game. The bishop, by the way, it goes to d5, yeah. So maybe bishop c4. Let's see.
Pretty suspicious. Pretty suspicious. Suspicious. Okay, so. Taking only five, taking the seven is very double edged, which, which is why I didn't do it. First line. Yeah, the guy plays first line in the critical position. I didn't like that. Oh, I miss rookie seven. Uh, I miss rookie seven. That's true. What exactly is rookie seven, though? He's better, yeah. Okay. So I had only one moment. The whole game. Well, it was much better. All right. Had only one moment. No. Hello, Mr. Dillman. Hello, Mr. Who I missed? Yeah, exactly. Which and and he was he had one minute up on me. Yeah, he had one minute up on me, and uh, he was playing perfect moves, and he just blundered once. Uh, he blundered rookie seven, which I didn't see either. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my report, send report. Yeah, it's okay. Let them start with the wins, that's fine. Uh, and because I was very close to being eliminated by this uh, Super FM. And who doesn't even have a name? See? He's hiding. He's hiding his name. Uh... So he is Fido Master, which means, according to this list, he must be no higher than 2400 standard. And it could be any, any among these FM players, yeah? Because this is International Master. Yeah. No wonder he hid his name. Because he's only 2400, but the way he played in the game, he's like he could be a 20, 2600 player, yeah. So I would say it's a pretty fair report then. A pretty fair report. All right, I cannot analyze the game because otherwise the system will think, um, yeah. System will think I am not online yeah we've done that mistake before 
If we had a lot of champs, yeah, I mean, either, but... Um, I think, actually, Fabiano Corano's, um, you know, history of playing for Italy, probably that was... that had a pretty big effect, you know, on their chess, so... Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know a lot of Italian good players, though. No. I mean, not not just good, but yeah, but a lot of Italian players I am unknown. The only ones that I know that I played with, like, back when uh, in Reggio Emilia, yeah, which was 2007, 9, 9, I believe, yeah. I shared first play in Reggio Emilia in 2009, I think. I had this uh, amazing game against... Um, National master from Ukraine. I have no idea. Because uh, the purpose of the report is to to gather attention. Okay. I'm putting attention flag on this person. So they can watch him. All right. Maybe he's not cheating. Maybe. But they, they, they will get attention. Okay. But if you want to talk about the percentage of my reports, which were good, I can tell you that I, I played on my alt account, trying to get onto the legend um, group. And I played a lot of games, Blitz, on my way on the internet to Bundesliga on this alt account. And uh, frankly, I was astonished at the amount of um, responses from chess.com about refunding my rating. The number of cheats was absolutely humongous. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Um, Laos Knight C5. Okay. Absolutely incredible number of cheats. All right, equal position, more or less. Knight g4, b6, a lot of possibilities. Developing move. Also getting the knight to the center, yeah. Which is also good. Good idea. All right, let's grab the file. Let's hit this queen. Knight g5, though, yeah. Hmm. See, this is National Marston, then he plays like one. See, he, he's very passive, he blunders stuff, he gives me squares. Yeah. Carlson versus Rosen. I like, I want to see this. Eric is probably on, like, happiest in his life. How many games he played against Magnus, I wonder. Well, he, pro probably he played a lot on Lee Chess, yeah? Those bullets or something. But on Chess.com, 
24, wrong move. Rook e4, big advantage. Queen e4, e5, black advantage. If Eric can find e5, he will be genius. Can Eric find e5? Biggest question. Magnus is just uh, too probably relaxed. He thinks uh, Eric is weak, but Eric is actually not that weak. Oh my god. Ah, oh, but this trade saves, uh, saves black, yeah. No, oh, I mean saves white. Now white has advantage again because he grabs the pawn, then he has bishop and two pawns. Yeah. Wait, why not rook e6? What happened? b6 is good, bishop d4 probably. Okay, rook c4. Yeah, that advantage white still, yeah. Bishop e5, and then a5, rook c6, grabs the pawn, and bishop c3. Yeah, this uh, Magnus is gonna win this. He's also super fast, yeah. Magnus has huge time advantage, and his position is better, and it's a technical position. So it's gonna be a big problem for Eric, you yeah. know. This is good. Push the pawn, centralize, attack. Oh, b6, b5, b6, then, yeah. Yeah, that's. That pawn goes to b6, it's huge problems. Check rook b4. Good job. Good job on remaneuvering the rook. But the h pawn's rolling. King f3. g5, g6, h6. Or take and then rook f6, yeah, just wins. Yeah. Well, it was a good good try by Eric. It's a good try. Bishop takes b2. Yeah. Oof, not bad. Good game. Uh, Wesley is playing versus Miyagi. Okay. Blunder c4. Good job. Okay, and Draken, Fabiana Corana versus CM. Fabiana is winning. Full smooth, what nationality are you from? That's a loaded question. I am not exactly sure f from where. From when I was born, I was born in Soviet Union which got dissolved after Perestroika by Gorbachev. So USSR, the country I was born on, doesn't exist. It got renamed into Russia. So I left USSR in 1989 and I got naturalized to the American citizenship in 96. I married my wife in 2018 or 17? 17? 17? <laughs> I'm terrible with dates. Um, yeah. I got married in Georgia. So I, I returned to Russia when we got, be, right before we got married, because uh, I haven't seen my mom since I was a kid. And uh, my mom passed away last year, before the New Year's. But we moved to France um, a year before that. So, all right. Hopefully that answers your question. Eric looks happy. Of course he is happy. He plays uh, the one and only goat, who is still playing chess. All right. Um, And Draken is playing this guy. Yeah, but Andraken is completely winning. King f6, g5. King f5, king h6. Yeah, 
can drag b3, d6, b2, rook b7, rook is yeah, just lost. Tricky Indian players. Okay. Black tried everything. Oh, there is double game. Dubov played surprisingly he played against Catalan. Usually Dubov plays Catalan himself. But this time he played against Catalan. With huge advantage. Okay. Wait. I am playing this event. Okay, what happened to Nakamura? Where is Naka? Ah, oh, there he is, two and two. Wow, Naka, Wesley, and Fabiano, they're all bunched together. See, because they play in the early rounds, they play like lower rated people, so their tie breaks are not that great. But they will return, yeah? As they start eliminating the competitors, their, their, their tie breaks are gonna go up. Um, So I made the draw in the first round. Uh, Five is extremely interesting. Um, yeah, let's play it. Okay, yeah. I don't see problems just developing stuff. Okay, five. So no. Three is also okay. I mean, my knight on d4 is pretty solid.
Open G4 Chrome is playable. His king is like so, so naked, man. His king is way too naked. I mean, his bishop on g7 is so, so bad. That that's like a Grunfeld player's nightmare. Never in trouble. Okay. So I could take take queen c2 and knight d4, which is okay, but knight d4 is also okay. So you see it's 0.4, yeah? 0.4 is normal. Um, knight 2 f3. Oh, take an e6 is also okay. Hmm. All right, maybe rookie. Rookie, rookie 1 is fine. And again, knight f3, 0.4 advantage, but... Yeah, b3, queen c2, knight of three. Uh, knight of three was a little bit too early. Yeah. I missed knight, e, knight a4, c5 idea. Again, point eight, point nine. Knight h2 is a little bit early, probably. Knight of three, preparing g4, but g4. Again, white is... Yeah, the, the only time he misses knight b4 here, yeah. But you see it's plus one, yeah? Plus one. Because the attack after h5, h6 is huge. Yeah, the, the, so rook d2. I miss rook d2 move. Defending the knights. And then king g2, rook h1 plan. I play king g2 immediately. Knight f3 is good. Rook c1, keeping the pawn alive so it protects a b4 square. After this, uh, plus 4, yeah. Yeah, it's just plus 4 because his knights, both knights are terrible. He had to play knight a b4. Yeah, so he had to play this move. So his knight gets access to the c3 square. And I have to play this, and then I have to play this. And this, because if he takes a huge threat is knight f6, he has to play this, and as you can see, h5, yeah. h6, bishop h8 is h7, and check and check. It's just disaster, yeah. But if he plays bishop f8, it's 
bishop f6 or knight f6, yeah. And the threat is h7, rook h1, so he has to play this. But you cannot compete with this bishop, yeah. Because this queen h4, queen h8 mate. Okay. Alright, so again, this this attack is super strong because rooks are really immobile in this closed position. So the the um, the minor pieces are stronger in this position. We didn't have a sign wall on Sunday, Mr. Panic knew because I wrote on the club page I was playing in Bundesliga and I got a cold and the internet and the hotel in Germany in general in Germany internet is not that great. So I, I'm probably gonna do the simul on Thursday, okay? Um, what day is Thursday? Thursday is gonna be second. So probably simul on the on the second of March, okay? All right. Yes, I have an American flag because I am an American. All right. I don't have Russian citizenship. When I was a kid, I probably had USSR citizenship, but since the passwords were long lost, there was no need to, you know, I never reapplied for this citizenship. I thought about it, but I didn't apply. Because I would be drafted into the bloody army if I did. Yeah. And we all know how that turns out. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so we're playing this pretty famous line, yeah, blah, blah. Oh, bishop f6. Exciting. Very exciting. Why would he give up the bishop though? All right, whatever are his reasons, these are his reasons alone. But now we have a bishop there. What are we gonna do with this bishop there? I have no idea. But we gotta we, we gotta do it slow, yeah. We gotta play this game slow. Hmm. All right. Two knights versus two bishops, but because the position is closed, I would say it's pretty balanced. Because his knights have access, yeah. They might have access. Not access. Access. All right, 26. Hmm. You know what, probably f6. Let's protect the squares. Let us protect that which matters the most. <coughs> the squares. Yeah, I was thinking he might do that. Gonna try to trade everything, I guess, yeah. Not a bad plan. All right, so it's gonna be a lot of trades, yeah. And again, two bishops versus two knights. And probably queen trade, which is probably okay for me. Probably okay for me. 
probably. It doesn't mean it is okay, but it's interesting observation. All right, the bishop has to be developed, yeah. Definitely take, take. Uh, bishop h6 maybe, but then why? Let's push the king. Centralize the king, go. smart it's pretty smart squares for his knights also yeah hmm. yeah I'm not too happy about this I'm not very happy about that my bishop on f4 sucks I don't think I can win this. Um, yeah, I don't think I can win this. Ninety five percent accuracy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Taking on D four and probably going for some expansion but take take an f5 yeah oh no still a bit afraid of e5 and a5 or something first line G4 was... All right, I messed up, yeah? I played H5 for no reason. Should have played B5, A5, and then B4, but... Yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of tough to win this. It's kind of tough to win this. Um, probably just not able to win this. He takes f3. He actually gave me a chance to play h4 here. And I'll just take knight f5.
pretty pretty strong game from this national master pretty even game I don't know uh, Probably not tomorrow, yeah. Or it could be tomorrow, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how I feel, okay? Yeah, but National Master who plays... I don't know. He is 94 years of birth, so he is 6 plus 22, he is 28, 23, 16, 24, 02. You know, to be honest, a little bit suspicious, but okay. Because he basically just traded everything, I'll give him benefit of a doubt, but... The end game with the two knights versus two bishops, he found some great moves like g4. Yeah, G4 was extremely important, and he found it. Um, yeah, it, it it was logical, but you know, it's kind of interesting that he found it still. Uh, yeah, H5 was probably my mistake. I should have taken G4 and gone for the offensive on the queen side. Yeah, I should have played it slow. Uh, even though you know, the, uh, yeah, but I needed I needed a, a break somewhere with my king. So one bishop on h6, another bishop on d3, and then king goes around. Maybe yeah. Yeah, h5 and the allowing taking on h5 was definitely a mistake because the knights are jumping and, they, and, and he attacks my pawn on h5. And protects his pawn on h4, so that was not. Yeah, I missed that also. Yeah, surprisingly, he played the endgame like extremely well. Extremely well for the national master. I'm very tempted to report this guy. I actually let them watch. They, I, 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 I will put him on the watch list. So. It's kind of like my watch list. So they will watch him. Um, do the loss to Rustamov? It's fine. I just literally said I'm going to put him on the watch list. Okay. The reason for the report. So they they will watch him. Okay. Bad sportsmanship. So go uh, go somewhere else if you don't like it. There are a lot of streamers out there. You know, I I am a little bit too old to be too trusty. There are so many cheaters online, I don't trust anybody, okay? So if you don't like it, feel free to move on. All right. Um, hello, Mr. General Director. Yeah. Based, gotta. What do you mean, based? You mean biased? possible and if you if you have seen so many cheers over the last I don't know decade of playing chess maybe more ever since there was online internet chess online you know you realize I've I, I've started seeing online cheers since like 2000s uh, since 19, 1996 that was my first time when I went to the internet chess club so that's what, 96 plus 22, 
So six, six plus 22 is what? 28 years. For 28 years, I was watching online cheaters basically ruin the freaking game, okay? So, you know what? I, I don't have this, you know, a rosy vision of the world because I, I, I know how people can cheat, all right? I mean, it's good to have this belief in, in a lot of great things in, in, in the world, you know, like when you're young. But when you get older, it's time to get practical. And being practical, based on my experience, especially in online chess, there are way too many cheaters. Okay? So I prefer now, to these days, to err on the side of, you know, of being suspicious than rather, you know, erring on the side that's... I think, hey, this guy is just a gen genu genuine uh, genius, man. Yeah, because there are just way too many online geniuses who play like gods, yeah? Because our ordinarily, the, 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 the time needed and the resources needed to achieve this level of playing like a you know, top 100 player in the world, do, do you know how many years it took me and how many resources and uh, how many losses how many tournaments uh, how many tears uh, money you know and then somebody walks in you know like pretending to be that good because he just plays online chess you know it, it, it smacks of uh, you know a lot of things All right um yeah Ah, uh, okay, thanks. Alright, so we played d4 last time, right? Yeah. Um, it's just there was another meaning to the word based, which, which, I, which, I, which I felt was put into this chat, but based on this minimal amount of context, it was hard to figure out exactly what was meant. Again, I erred on the uh, on the other side. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the reason they don't play a five is because of bishop b five, okay? Because this bishop is going to be shooting this square on e eight for the rook, and eventually black will have to play c six, and if you play c six, your whole um, your whole composition goes down. All right, so let's play this e four. I think it's like this, I'm not sure. Uh, and then probably just take actually. Queen mm. C2 is fine. I mean, we'll see. Um, this is not so clear cut. All right, so I like pinning. I like pinning. Like pinning stuff, it gives me an illusion of control. It is an illusion, but so knight h5, probably blah blah. You know, or it's going to be something more aggressive. Guess we'll see. All right, F3 has to be played. Have to protect this guy. Protect the bishop. Alright. 
it's time for the knight to go to ideal square, which is the e3. Yeah. So we're pushing this guy to the ideal square. Bishop c4 might be actually okay. But also, why not take? Yeah. Why not just trade stuff? Hmm. So he can play this, yeah? He can play this. Yeah, it's still a pawn for me. It's not that much though, yeah? It's probably a draw. It's probably is a draw. What is this? I think. That I missed. Um, shit. Very, very lucky. Yeah, I was supposed to play rookie one first and then I d2d4, I think. I don't remember the analysis here. 
because this is okay for black. Yeah, you, you can just play a five probably, it's fine. But knight of six is probably advantage. Uh, d5 is correct plan. I don't know, I played this like a chicken. Here, you normally don't play this. Also b4, yeah. Again, but you need time to, to think of this over. And this is very tough to play this for a blitz game. But b4 is correct plan. Because you need to strike this pawn formation. Your bishops are here, your knight is here. So b4 is correct. Bishop g5 was chicken stuff. Knight f1, knight f4, knight e3, bishop c8. So critical position, right? White is better, but how much better? And again, b4, because if black trades, then you access the square, and it's unclear, yeah. But if he allows you to take, then your knight goes to c4 and hits it. So b4 is advantage, okay? King h2 is meh. All right. Yeah, so probably bishop f1. This was my original idea to play bishop f1, then kick this knight out. But again, I wanted to play safe chess and play this. Yeah. So queen d1, knight c4, just play the end game. End game is better for white. This is not good. Yeah, he found d4, very strong. I would have taken e4 with a pawn, yeah. Mm. Or with the with the queen. Yeah, I missed the c6 idea, very strong. Knight f4. Queen e4 is much stronger, of course. Queen enters, then bishop d4. f6 is blitz move. And this is draw. Wait, the computer says it's winning for white. Why? Oh, queen f5 with the idea of queen g6. Oh my god, he has no time, yeah. And then you take and then you threaten this. Damn. All right, this is equal. He had to find king h7, the only move. Why not queen d8? Ah, because the threat is bishop f7, queen e8, queen f7, okay? That's the threat. Yeah, so if you play queen d1, there is bishop f7. So this was the only move. And now I have to make a draw. How do I make a draw? Real ocean storm. Who is this guy? Yuri Piskov. What? Who is this Yuri Piskov? Retired chess player. GM from Russia. Okay. Same thing, right? Bishop b4. This h3 g4 is very interesting. Um, I don't know.
Actually, I think I should have kept my knight. This bishop on b2 was not that great. It allows me to take this. I wonder why. Queen c5, rook d3, probably. Blah, blast. Keep the file. Actually, I should have probably just played this, yeah. Okay, fine, we can play like this.
Ganz young. Somehow. I need to trade the queens. Actually, I don't know what I need. Should have been winning somewhere. Queen B4 and then take on A4, my god, yeah. Mm. I missed Queen B4. Because then you take on A4 and you create two weaknesses, which is winning. That's winning. This is draw. trade the queens but it's not happening it's point 80 wow point 80 damn yeah actually i should have traded the queens yeah then play this end game. This end game has a lot of winning chances because rook is not a queen. It's, it's probably probably winning because now you know b5 is a huge threat. So this end game is probably critical. Yeah. question is this winning or not mm, I don't know I don't know um, I think it's winning because at some point after b5 the bishop breaks through but might be not winning I don't know <laughs> tricky Um, yes, Mr. Burston is, um, any cheaters today? I wouldn't, no, no obvious, uh, no obvious, uh, people. There are some suspects, but not, uh, not, no obvious cheating today, no.
Hmm. All right, I like center. I like center. Uh, I think ninety seven. He's saying my e4 was not good. Uh, maybe he's correct, actually. Yeah, I think he's correct. Hmm.
my game already gets started. Which round is this? Round eight. One, two, three, four draws today. Wow. As usual, FMs give me way more harder time than Grandmasters. As usual, yeah. Eurospiz, thank you so much for your support, man. Appreciate it. All right, so here's this. Mm, stack it. Thank you so much, sir. So, subscribers for Thursday, yes. Hopefully. This does not look good. Okay.
Perfect play, yeah. Again. Perfect fucking play. So sick and tired of those guys who play perfect chess. Perfect play, FMs, IMs, Grandmasters, they don't know how to play like this, but the FMs, IMs, they do. They play perfect chess. Yeah, but I, I, up until this uh, this this blunder, he just played perfect chess, I think. All right, let's see it. All right. So nice c six, d five. I forgot about d five, but okay, c three. Action area three should be played. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. D5. Playable. 6. Playable. H5. H5. 6. First line. Queen C5. First line. Okay, why he cannot take? <clears throat> Ah, queen b1. Queen b1. Okay, I didn't see that. Equalizing, yeah? Alright. Because after c4, he is better. First line. Knight d5, second line. b5. Apparently, no line. Still not bad. Rook. F D eight equal B four Queen B six third line A five So this was probably a problem, yeah. Hmm. So it was equal until this moment. Ah, because Bishop takes away the square from the rook, my god. No oh, shit, I forgot that. Hmm means if I attack the spawn, he cannot protect it with the rook. Knight of six, perfect move. Rook takes, a queen takes, advantage black now, yeah. And just huge advantage immediately. Huge advantage. So this was, you know, it, it's not so clear why this move is bad, but this I am just demonstrates perfect play. GF6, first line by far, yeah? First line by far. Actually, I didn't know what's the difference between bishop f6 or gf6. Apparently, there is a difference. And the difference is because there's 94. Ah. So that's why he didn't play it. Because the computer showed this line, so. So he plays gf6, which is very, very counterintuitive. But obviously, he finds this move. And queen a4, second line. Again, if this rook goes, knight d4, yeah? If this rook goes, then rook a1 back is possible. But he plays queen a4, second line. And now black is just much better. Yeah, I should just play probably 4 versus 3. Trade one pair of rooks. Bishop c5, third line. Oh, this was a mistake, yeah. And he immediately used it. Check. Rook a3 is winning, but rook f1, the second line, is also winning. Okay. 
All right, Mr. Perfect Play. I'm gonna report you. He just gave me a little rook at the end because you know he he knew I was gonna report him. Anyway, because I already reported him in the past. He was asked six out of eight, lost two games. He lost to Bacrow, Dubov, Wesley seven out of eight, Naka is six out of eight. Wait, I'm six out of eight also? What? I'm sharing with Fabiano and Naka? Despite losing so badly? I'm playing terrible, yeah, but I'm still with these guys. Unbelievable. All right. Yeah, for 2,500 feet, he made some some very very strange but engineish moves. Okay, like so. That's why he's reported. I also report him in the past. I mean, he immediately sees uh, my very slight mistake and he uses it. This is not uh, possible. For I am at 2,500. I mean, it's possible, but the probability is extremely... I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking probabilities, okay? So the probability was very high that uh, something was wrong in this game. I'm curious about this game. I didn't have a chance to uh, look at this game. So let me check. This Iranian kid. All right, so C5. White is better, yeah. So instead of A5, First line. Yeah, it's a very interesting game. C5, D5, and he plays knight E5 here, yeah? First line, actually, or second. And I had to play queen C7 immediately. Oh. E4 immediately. Yeah. Yeah, black has problems. Rook c8, rook c1. Makes sense. Queen c7. So he has advantage, obviously. Yeah, I don't understand the c5, though. I was very scared to play 5 because my pawns will be very loose. So that's why I played e6. e6 is a very solid move. h4, h5. Yeah, rook d1 was a little bit strange move, I don't understand this move. But he had to bring the knight, yeah, he had to bring the knight to d3, which is... Rook cb8, I think makes perfect sense. a3, rook b... Alright, uh... Alright, uh, we need to be online, okay? Next round starting soon. All right, what, what is this position? Rook e1 here, queen d3, rook b8, knight c5. First line sequence. Instead of rook e6, knight e6, queen d6, knight d4. 
Yeah, he missed queen a3, rook c7 first line, rook f6, knight c6, he missed rook b3. I was too scared to play this. Queen d6 is a problem. I missed queen d4. All right. Oh, rook f2, knight e3, okay. All right. Uh, all right, human. Human play, yeah. Human play. Because, uh, see, he, he, we missed tactics, yeah. Rook f2, 93, 97, rook c6, rook e6. A lot of mistakes. So that was human. Yeah, which is why I didn't report him, because uh, um, the probability that it was a human playing was greater than the probability that it was assisted playing. Uh, Iran. famous position who is better is unclear Yeah, the computer says I think this is like very complicated position, easy to go from advantage to worse for either side. Okay, very simple. So I'm gonna be playing very defensive chess now. I wanna see what he wants to do. G4 is standard, pretty much. Two maybe is wrong, yeah. You know, let's play G five. Fuck it. This looks pretty good for me, yeah? 
I mean, it's got to be good. Look at this pawn chain, his knight on h5 is horrible. It's gotta be good for me. Um, Lost. All right. So just to show you, um, see this. Uh, this is how you should. This is how I play against this system, which was introduced by Wesley So. This whole plan with knight h5, bishop d6, and g6, f6 was introduced by Wesley So as part of his um, preparation for the London system, which is like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Um, so, the, you know, uh, and also Naka played it against me at the US Championship, and I played uh, another system, which is good, but it requires a lot of analysis. But this is a very strategic position. I played this... Uh, structure a lot against a guy named the Python. Uh, if you guys remember we had a lot of games here in this in this structure against a Pyron and it's usually it was like draw 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 but you know but I think white is a little bit better okay knight of three yeah except that computer likes to put the knight on g4 okay Knight on g4 is actually not bad. But it's kind of weird why the computer likes to put this knight here. Because I really like to keep this square open for the pawn. So bishop f1. Everybody back. You know. Because he wants to play e5 at some point. So you have to be ready. So you see it's equal. Yeah. But. Yeah. But I missed uh, bishop h4 move. I didn't see it. But queen d2. Okay. Queen d2 is fine. And bishop g3 here. Okay. Bishop g3. I was worried about h5 though. I wasn't sure, but then then ah then you play g5. Okay. So I play g5 immediately, and you see black is better. Okay, that is the problem. But again, it's better. But if one wrong move, black is immediately worse. So you have to play e5 here apparently, which is the only move. Yeah. And after e5, it's like crazy position, yeah? Crazy. But equal. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Because after this, you can see it plus, plus, almost plus two. Strategically winning, because pawns are connected, a pair of bishops, it's game over, pretty much. Yeah, bishop b5 probably winning immediately, but okay, bishop h3 I think is fine. Yeah, and then, and then the king just moves and then rook goes and, uh, you know, this pawn is a killer pawn. I just blundered, yeah, so I had to play queen f7, probably, king h1, king h8, rook g1. Yeah, this was the most resistant uh, strategy, which is why the computer likes to play here king g2. King h3. 
And the reason is that white can play king h4 and hit this pawn. It's kind of weird, but queen takes is rook g1, so pawn takes rook g1. And then probably this is also winning. Ah, he, he doesn't take it. I, I don't know. Um, Wesley beat Magnus. Nice. What do you mean act on these reports? Of course they act. Um, they keep an eye on these guys. Again, a lot of reports which I submit is actually saying, you know, watch out for this person. I'm not saying he's cheating, but just like, watch out, okay? It's two different things. Um, so, wait. If I play here. I mean, bishop g7 is perfectly playable, I think. Yeah, bishop g6 is also playable, but as usual, there are a lot of complicated lines analysis, which I don't know. A lot of analysis and complicated lines. I need to grab this, play six. Should have blundered, yeah. I just blundered. Just gave him a whole fucking tempo. to go into the end game which should be able to hear because queen c2 runs knight b4 and queen takes b2 is quite possible so he has to come up with a plan how to not go into the end game yeah all right knight takes actually king takes fine this is equal position I mean, it's okay, but it's not the great move. B3, B8. First. Let's go to the bishop.
Yeah, it was better, but then I messed up somewhere. Uh, so maybe actually taking the bishop was a mistake, yeah. I should have just traded the rooks. It's still equal. But a6 is a mistake also, yeah. Rook c6, rook d7. Rook c yeah, rook d rook d7. Because after a4, a4 is very strong, I missed a4. Now white is better. Oh, I had to play this and knight b, knight c6, knight f5. My god, it's complicated, yeah. Because now he is better. Also, question why did he play this? Oh, I trap his knight. Ah. Ah, okay. Ah. Yeah, and then I should I should just play knight c8, king d7 immediately. Why waste time on rook a8, yeah? Because he has e4, f5. Yeah, 97, but then rook g7. Ah, rook h8. And 96. Damn. Guys, endgame is hard. Yeah, you see how you have to calculate all this stuff. And black is better because I hit this guy and then I go into counterattack because I have e-file and this guy is not doing much. It's complicated, yeah? Very complicated. Yeah, this is equal. Yeah. So I have to play 95. And if I take 96, E4. Really? My god, what is that? That is the sound of white getting huge advantage, yeah. So this was a mistake. Yeah, just play bishop g7. <laughs> After this, it paid off, yeah, because now black is fine. Oh, I could have just played knight h5, really? I'm an idiot. Okay, knight h5, just black is equal immediately and now black is better again yeah i should have taken with the knight actually i thought about it because knight goes to five immediately i mean come on man and then you play rook c8 or knight c8 yeah, and knight goes to here and that's it, equal. Knights protect everything. Damn. All right. What did I miss? Firuza made it somebody, okay. Uh, wait, what are the games, man? I'm playing Paragon. Duru is playing Wesley, yeah? Okay.
Kind of provocative play. Probably not good. Very likely it's not good. But you know, we're not gonna win anything anyway because we lost too many points. We lost too many points anyway. Hmm. If I play G5. for the aggression. That's a problem. That is a problem. Actually, bad move.
Okay. Tough. I was probably much worse at some point. Swindled. We swindled this game, gentlemen. Some crazy, crazy chess. Bishop e5. Yeah, of course you take with a knight, yeah? I mean, of course you take with a knight, but okay. I was curious about this. And... Yeah, I usually play solid chess, but this game I played like a cowboy. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm a cowboy, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Okay. Carlson lost second game in a row with uh, Matlakov. Really? Okay. Magnus Dubov game? I believe it's going to be crazy, yeah. Knock it, knock it. I, <laughs> you know what's the problem? These guys have huge egos. I mean, I probably have a pretty big ego, but compared to these guys, I'm like, I'm a, I'm just a small time dealer. Yeah. But these guys, they're like huge egos. I mean, if you, if you are the top, you need the big ego. Otherwise, you know, you need this to compete, yeah? yeah. I'm, I'm like, see, the, this is bad position. And I'm, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it even more. I play queen d5, king h8, first line. g5, he finds knight h5, first line, wow. Rook d1, terrible move. See, black advantage, huge. But then he went into this um, tactics, yeah? He went into this rook g5, and suddenly after rook g5, white is better. And then we went into this whole line. Oh, knight f3. Oh my god, I missed knight f3 actually. Knight f3 was just rook f3. Rook f3 even better, but queen f2. Oh, we missed knight e5. My god, guys, this is gorgeous move, yeah? Knight e5, black wins. So you see, it's very easy to go, like from plus 0.6 to minus 2. But thank god he didn't see it. But this is also good. So I made a huge mistake. Yeah? Rook f3 is okay. And white is better. Because then I play c4 and then his queen side is in ruins. Wow, okay. And now he is winning. Yeah, He had to play knight e5. But he takes. Oh wait, that was the end of the tournament. Okay. Alright, so let's see. What are the final standings? Um, and the final standings are I'm sharing no Naka is here. Come on guys. Who do you who whoever said Naka quit? No, he's not quit. But we do have Billy Kimba. I have no idea who this guy is. Madlakov actually winning for the first time this event. First to third place shared. Etienne Bakro, probably with the best tournament so far. He shared with Naka Dubov, yeah. Then we have a whole bunch of people here. And woo, I'm half a point above Magnus Carlsen. I mean, we're, we were not in the prizes, gentlemen. We're sharing 9th through 15th, but we are ahead of Magnus Carlsen. And we are ahead of... Where's Fabiana Kurano? Fabiana also played this event, no? What happened? Where is Fabi? Oh, there he is, 7 out of 11. Okay. We are ahead of Fabiano Corana. Not bad. So, I am behind Naka, I am behind Wesley, but I am ahead of Magnus and I am ahead of Fabiano. Things are sort of balancing each other out, yeah. Alright, guys, uh, tough tournament, man. Very tough. Ma Matlakov beats Magnus and Naka. What? All right, let's see. Let's see his games, okay? He beats Magnus. That was important. But okay, Ma Matlakov is a, is a, is a, is is a really good blitz player. Come on, guys. It, it, those guys, those guys who play the world uh, blitz and rapid championships, they know it. Come on. 
he's being he's been showing some great results there so it's no surprise but okay let's see the Spanish so Magnus is playing Spanish and Matakov is playing like Magnus I remember Magnus uh, did something like this with black yeah he just traded stuff on c3 but okay Magnus plays c4 yeah, Matlakov is uh, so Matlakov is playing like Magnus, and Magnus has to fight himself. Yeah, this is actually a pretty smart strategy, you know. Force your opponent to fight himself. That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so probably Black is okay, but F5 is a fighting move. Yeah, I don't think it's a good move because you're opening the position. Where black bishop and all his pawns are on the light squares. And after the trade, white gets nice centralized squares. But in a blitz game, anything goes, yeah? So knight e3, perfectly logical. Take, bishop takes. And now knight is heading to e4. And Magnus is like going for the positional squeeze. So what happens? Knight e2, right? Has to play d5, okay. Take, take. Queen c2 looks good. Oh, he missed queen c4. Queen c4, king h7, knight f3. That's how he can protect the spawn by counterattacking the spawn. And then knight goes to c4, but it's sort of equal. Knight e4, I am not sure this is. Oh, he missed. Uh... What? Oh, he missed probably that he cannot take this guy, yeah? Because if rook takes, knight takes here, then you take here. And if bishop takes, then you just uh, probably 94, 92, 93, right? Something like that. So he went for this. And they have a lot of time, actually, yeah? Queen g6. Actually, looks like Magnus was better, yeah? So what happened? Queen c4. Rooks are going to the seventh. The computer really doesn't like this move. It says you have to play it. No, rookie a1 is actually second line, so it's not bad. Bishop g7. Actually, Matakov was worse, yeah? He's not even playing best moves. Had to find f5. And bishop on d6. Bishop on d6 is very, very scary. Bishop g7 is a very human move, man. Protect the king. Uh, rook g8, okay. But this is kind of playing with fire, yeah? Because now black is threatening a lot of things. And now suddenly black is okay, because f4 and this, this king mate thing is happening, yeah? And suddenly we have the file, yeah. And why you cannot play rook d7 is probably because take take e4 or something, yeah. Oh, just bishop f6 and mate, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so Magnus really misplayed here. Hmm. Yeah, still equal. Oh, still equal. Oh, Magnus doesn't want to draw. He plays h4 and still equal. f3, okay, still equal. No, really? Come on, wow. Absolutely fearless, yeah? Walking into a lot of mates here. Walking right into a lot of mates. Oh, he missed rook f2. Rook f2, bishop e5 just mates, mates immediately, yeah? Take here, bishop e5 just wins immediately. But queen f6 is good enough. Wow. Resigns. Yeah, well, very interesting game. Very interesting. 
Looked like, you know, Magnus was pressing, but then suddenly counterattack happened, yeah. All right, let's see Madlakov versus Nakamura. If you beat Magnus and Nakamura in the same event, you, de you deserve to win the event, yeah. I mean, we all agree on that. If you beat Magnus and you beat Naka, I mean, just beating one is, 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 is enough to deserve to win the event. He beat both of them. I mean, actually, he deserves to win this. All right, so he, Naka plays Dutch, yeah. That playing Dutch, actually playing with fire. Uh, okay, but black is better. E5. Apparently 94 followed by E5 was stronger, which makes a lot of sense, okay. Yeah, okay, but this is equal, yeah. 94, 95. Rook F7 looks logical. B4. Uh, this is iffy. I really don't like this move. Um, probably knight d8 with ID of c6 is more logical, yeah. Because you need this knight uh, in, in, in the Dutch defense, this knight usually goes to f7. Like King's Indian, yeah. a5, knight b4, also human. But knight d8 and c6, guys, okay, remember this. Knight d8, kick this, you have to kick this knight out with c6. And then, then you're okay. Because if, if white is allowed to keep this guy here, he, he controls way too many squares and attack attacks a lot of things. Yeah, you cannot you cannot uh, allow this knight to leave. So this is definitely okay for black. This is should be okay. Ah, okay. So the computer is saying a5 take on d5 97. Hit the pawn on d5 or something. Because after knight f4, white is better now, maybe. I don't know, it's crazy position, yeah. Grab the pawn, but the cost of this. Oh, white doesn't even take the bishop. Oh, he takes this pawn. Incredible game, actually, because this bishop hits this weak pawn. Black has nice knight. Without this knight, black is just much worse, yeah? This knight holds black position together. Uh, but there are a lot of threats, yeah? White always threatens to put the rook here. There's always a threat to take this guy in hg5, 96. There's always this pawn hanging. Plus, yeah, this is probably easier for white to play, yeah? The computer says it's like equal, but I, I I don't know. Bishop a4. Yeah, Naka Naka was like you know fighting. Yeah, he was he was trying to win. So he was trying to win. That's why he takes a lot of risk. Uh, this is kind of weird. Um, he just wants to hit the queen, but the queen goes here and attacks the pawn. So yeah, th this was terrible move. This was apparently terrible. You should just take the bishop immediately instead of helping white to attack the spawn. Because now these knight and this rook, this rook is absolutely horrible. And knight has to protect this rook, so the peace coordination here is broken. Now this this should be punished, yeah? So let's see, knight is six exactly. Now the knight is hanging, the rook is hanging. Only move. Queen b1 is fine, and uh, you cannot take this knight because the bishop opens, yeah. So bishop e5, but that allows a tempo. Rook is hanging, and a white trace this bishop. White is already pawn up because he, black gave up this pawn. But white is also winning this pawn, and then the super knight, queen, and weakened king is just decisive advantage, okay. Bishop d7. Queen h4 was extremely strong, hitting this rook, knight g5. But okay, rook e1. So rook endgame. g4 is correct. Yeah, but the, the rook is coming, yeah. Oh, h5. Or that, yeah. Wait. Wait, this is equal. I mean, it's not equal, but black has a draw. So how did he lose this? Check, take, yeah. 
check, check, rook f6, king, oh my god, he blundered, king d7, that was a heroic defense, by the way, but he just blundered in one move, yeah, oh my god, yeah, yeah, he just blundered in one move, wow, because if he play king d7, it's draw, okay, not easy, but it's draw. But yeah, he just blundered. Wow. Rook f5. Damn. Four seconds. Eight seconds. Yeah, you better believe it. Blitz game, man. Better believe it. Uh, this f4 move was like a nail. Magnus had to struggle a lot. Yeah. Leon Beast, what's up? Round and points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Matlakov is good. Yeah, he, he can do it. Especially if they don't take him seriously. But you see, they took him seriously, but you know, he he actually outplayed them, yeah. Magnus took way too many risks, and the same with Naka. Naka way, took too many risks. Yeah, and, and that's how you actually can beat them, yeah, because they, they, they thought that, you know, they have to beat this guy. He's just like some GM, yeah? But, you know, and they, they, they were pushing it and pushing, pushing the risk. And uh, eventually, you know, they went over the board, yeah? That's what happens. That that's actually happens a lot in, in classical chess also. See, it, it, that, that is why, you know, the grandmasters, you know, they have, they don't like to play open tournaments because they go play the guy who is... 300 rating points lower, but this guy knows theory and he plays very solid chess. So for the grandmaster to beat this guy, the grandmaster has to take a lot of risk. <laughs> but if the guy, you know, if he plays well and grandmaster takes too much risk, the grandmaster loses, even in the classical game. It's it's a perfectly it's a perfectly uh, playable and uh, time proven strategy. That's why grandmasters they you know they lose a lot of rating points in the in, in the open tournaments. Yeah, that happens all the time. All right. Uh, so what did I miss? Um, blah 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 blah. Mr. Payment, thank you for subscribing to Prime, man. Yeah, but okay, I, I I was very close to losing today in at least two games. I got very very lucky. But yeah, one two three four five draws. So this guy, all right, I got very lucky. No, this was okay. This, I should have won though, but okay. This was a tough game. This was real ocean. Ah, okay, I should have won this game, right? Uh, not the other one. Um, yeah, yeah, I should have won this game actually. This guy gave me a lot of problems, but human, and we, we made a lot of mistakes. This guy could have beaten me, yeah? But he played way too many perfect moves. And then he blundered at the end, the whole rook win. So this, this was the only game that I was like really, really lucky with, okay? Then against Fighterman, it was interesting. Against Dan Laz, it was pretty solid. And against Dropstone, again, you guys saw it, right? It was like, hugely tactical game and uh, he could have won but he didn't see it and uh, he lost yeah so again two games i was close to loss um against this guy and against this guy but in a blitz game you see uh, it's any anything goes anyway i have to go guys and then um you know i'll see you the second title tuesday okay all right so um Um, next tournament in real life, uh, I, I played team events, yeah, I play uh, team events. Uh, I just came from Bundesliga, dude. I had two draws. Um, I, I did a draw against versus Berkic, and then I did a draw versus uh, Fresenet. It was Fresenet, it was London system draw, super solid game, and with uh, Berkic, I played my usual super solid uh, Spanish prayer, yeah. 
So two solid draws, which is okay because our team is like very, very, very solid. Yeah, we have we have like last board is 2500, and then we have 2580, 20, 20, 2570, 26, early 26, and then I'm on the second board with 2650 or something. Okay, so it's like our whole team is is from first to eighth board. We're like from 26 to 2500. Okay extremely extremely solid so you know what we do is like first three four boards make a draw and our last four boards are usually you know outclassing the reposition okay because there are not many teams that can field the strong 2500 on the last three boards okay usually like you hire a lot of strong players for the first uh first four boards and then you pray yeah yeah. All right. Thank you so much, uh, guys. Um, uh, again, I, I got to go. So I'll see you the second title Tuesday, gentlemen. All right. Good night. See you later.